we can honestly say that the last two to three weeks have been the most challenging that we have had in a very long time. Oh, absolutely. Time for a change. You can't draw by staying the same. It's our contribution for this revolution building community. It's just one step closer to where we we're meant to be. It's not just a way of life, it's a family. You're dealing with a type A personality that has everything drawn out. Stop! Stop, Stop drawing on that! So you're kind of sad? I am. I started tearing up because it's like the end, but it's not the end. Listen, ladies, he's not just a pretty face. He's single. So the old saying is, <laughs> you can't push it uphill if you can. <laughs> That's the story we keep telling ourselves. I am not some people. This is my own RV. I'm thinking I'm just going to put a, maybe I just need to put a mirror here, and then there's going to be a cabinet maybe here, because I don't think you can have a medicine cabinet yeah. I don't know. Like, I need to rethink that. I'm happy and I'm sad all at the same time. And it's always the unknown. Like, you don't know what's going to happen next. Talking about short time frames, we're running out of time. And that brings me to the very big thought of are we even going to make it to the Tampa show with it? <laughs> it there has just been a countless number of details and questions and things that weren't necessarily going right and this mm -hmm. it's just been a lot and it's it, the funny thing is is like every decision compounds upon another decision and it is you don't think of that in this process until you're in it and again we have to keep things in perspective because quite honestly this is, we're up against deadlines. It's not the normal thing that they have to deal with. And we're shooting a documentary around them and they're dealing with cameras and. That's yeah. even a whole nother element to itself. Even when we're in the, in the heat of trying to make a decision and figure out, okay, well, what are we gonna do about this? To remember to pick up the camera and bring you along on that yeah. ride with us. Sometimes that's hard. It's like, oh, should have shot that. Or we're just like, don't, I don't need the camera right now. Cause you're just, you're just in it. But it's really awesome that we've been able to do this and, and capture and share all the elements. Yes, it's it's been fun. Um, it's been exhausting, but I would say the last two or three weeks probably have been the most uh, stressed we've been <laughs> in a really long time. <laughs> yep, and especially since now we're just a few days away. We are not, I mean, we are just a day away from leaving. <laughs> so not a few days. Okay. What what is that? It's an oops. By who? Uh we'll let him ring the name anonymous. I don't know what I was saying. I thought they were I thought they were 17 or 20. So they're gonna stick out to about here. Under increasing pressure and with time slipping away, we were on the brink of encountering significant challenges that would test our limits and push us to our breaking point. As of now, there are so many moving components that are happening, it's hard to even keep up with. What if you measured wrong? Huh? What if you measured wrong? I mean, I don't think it's gonna fit good, except we don't have an outlet back here. No, no, no. What do you mean no? Tell me no. You messed this up. It's not good. I can't put that in the video. <laughs> don't put that in the video. <laughs> the, the crazy, Thing is is learning how the roof was even installed and all of the details that even go into doing the roof and running the wires and seeing how they do the cap and um, it's it's done in three different segments and we don't have to worry about hail because it's all fiberglass and it, it, that was m uh, mind-blowing to me uh -oh. Are we, are you putting roof on today? We're going to start putting it on. We're going to go so far until we get that hatch. Hatch comes in today. It should be yeah. here. Like in three hours. 
Okay, I had no idea when they were doing this. Insulation goes in. Now we had a choice for spray foaming. And that's all great. The problem with spray foaming is, is once it's set, it's set. And if we ever wanted to do something in the future, I just have a hard problem with that. After all the fiberglassing is in set, insulation is down, sealed, wires all run. Come back over and they set all of the plywood over the top. And then from here, they're gonna use another fiberglass top. So you should never have an issue at all with the roof. It's crazy. Um, How long does it take to do one of these sections? Do you know? When they, by the time they start to finish, up? probably, well, the actual work time is gonna be somewhere in the neighborhood of an hour and a half, two hours. And it goes through the curing process. If they break one, how long would it take to make another one? A couple of days. Maybe a day. Okay. They could get it done in a day. Have you ever broke one? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, they are pretty this, dang sturdy. It's like they're, they're resilient too, so they've got some flexibility. To them. I won't have to worry about hail. Nope. We've had up to baseball size hail survive. <laughs> oh, I don't ever want to be in a baseball size hail storm. <laughs> If you mess this up, it's not good. If you drill the wrong hole, right? You ain't gonna drill no hole. <laughs> what if you measured wrong? Huh? What if you measured wrong? And then you went right into talking to Joshua about the railing stuff, because that became a whole nother heated thing. Well, once we decided what the pad, like the size of the ramp doors and the patio doors, then because that's all custom and custom sizing we wanted to do different things with the rails and the rails the ramp the rails that wouldn't that came with it wouldn't necessarily fit and close correctly to be able to come in like ev oh there was so much to decide about these welding, rails rewelding reshaping redoing things i'm so happy that they finally we we kind of finally came now it won't be painted for the show <laughs> But we have. I don't know how we would have ever made it to date. <laughs> how does that make you feel? No, it doesn't make me feel good at all. A little good? <laughs> I wouldn't feel good if I were you. <laughs> Apparently, Greg just said there's a little drama with our patio door. Can you explain the door to me? Door. Patio door? And how we're going to do the deck? The railing? Railing. Railing's the removable. So it closes and it doesn't break those doors. What? Yeah. No, what No. What do you mean? The railing that's on that deck? Yeah. You're gonna have to be removable. It is? Yeah. Why? So that that door doesn't stick inside eight inches. If you say this thing here, if you say, where is the, where are you gonna put the railing? Where's the railing gonna go? I don't know yet. <laughs> and you're having to do it because the handle and you don't want it to you, the door can't sit in any further well it can i don't think you want it to okay so this is five and that's what this is five so you would be it would be it would be basically here where my foot is so then that would make that would make this area like super that's tiny the, that's the problem are you guys tired of these doors yet? These patios? I bet so. Hey, we got three of them just in case you, you know, you didn't, you wanted to get more excited. Yeah, each side has half and half. Okay. And then you latch them in here and then the bolt just holds it all well. That's actually pretty, I like that. I like that a lot. The railing designs required a significant amount of time and effort as they were not only crucial for safety, but also needed to enhance the overall look without causing damage to the patio doors. I haven't seen this with these done. Wow. That'll work. Burton did that. He did a nice job. We're going to be lucky. Like even when we roll to Tampa, it, it, everything's not going to be done. We, like even at the very, like the 11th hour, we had ramp door issues with opening the door. Yeah, it seems simple enough, doesn't it? Just put the ramp door on. <laughs> yeah.
What's the dilemma, Todd? So, I'll be honest. When we were doing these, What's the matter? Yeah, the patio doors are open with the... With the deck down? Well... Well, period. The doors won't open. That's do, a uh, problem. So ideally, this would have been higher up. The problem is, is we are rolling out in two days. Anytime you have a patio door like this? Yeah. Your openings aren't the same height. Right. If that door is open at the same plane, we have a, door, a, a patio. Right, right. It can't be... How's the door supposed to open? Yeah, then you, you throw in the deck on top. Yeah. Watching them create the deck, and it is, it is massive. It's eight foot by 12 foot. And it is the coolest thing to be standing up there and look. Now, I have to duck when I'm up there because- you We're know, inside. We're, we're inside, so <laughs> yes. I cannot wait. Cannot wait to be standing up there when everything's put up. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to get the railings painted and get all of that, like that, the final look done, but we're just all gonna have to wait on that together. <laughs> wow. <laughs> look how big that is. They are ginormous. That's, <laughs> that's the... Yeah, that's the deck on top. That thing is huge. Yes, yeah, so look at the size of these. They got those done. done. Oh yeah, that's gonna be for... Holds those poles. Yeah, the poles go up so we have a shade. That's absolutely incredible. <laughs> it's a giant. Wow. A lot of metal, a lot of so, metal. Oh, he's got a template here to attach the, the rails. Okay. So we've got a strategy for the best way to Do try it. to keep tension on them. Okay. So they don't. No. Okay. So you push your button in, and then it pulls out. And okay. It has detents. That locks okay. It. Walk the plank. This is crazy. How are you securing it? There's clips. There's clips on the bottom? They slide into the grooves and then bolt through those. Okay. Once we figured out kind of all those items about the railings and how those railings need to be made and the rooftop deck, we were able to start seeing the slides start to come in. And that was pretty cool to watch them set the slides. And for some reason, I was impressed or I guess surprised right. when the slides came in that it actually made the RV feel bigger, not as yeah, narrow. Yeah, you're like sitting in here. Yeah. Because I don't know if your mind just sees extra space now, so it is much more room as we're sitting in. Which is crazy when you think that there's nothing you could see way beyond there, but it was like, I don't know. We needed that in order to get the depth for a, a, like a linen closet thing area. This is our... That's the linen closet then too? Mm -hmm. And I had him push this shelf back so that I could put baskets on the doors since we're not doing a medicine cabinet. You just open this door and then there'll be baskets set here that'll hold like our medicine cabinet stuff. And then when you shut it, you need that space that the shelf needs to be back farther in order for that to happen. And then this will be a laundry or a hamper. It'll be on, will it be on sliders? Yep, sliders and then three there and then there's slider underneath that in three floors. Oh, look. My my editing studio. Yeah, your desk. Look at. Got the light mount installed. Yeah. I will say <laughs> the desk is not as big as I was expecting when I was sitting and thinking about it. But it's at my own little space. Yep, you can do with it as you desire. I love the square windows. I love them. No, it, so it feels much better um, with the slides in, it feels bigger, roomier. But then we had to get, you know, the countertops and start with the, the drawers and the like all the cabinet pieces, all the little details started all pulling it together, which really started to make it feel finished but yeah. not back there. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> Thank you.
Sheila, what are you doing? Are you working? Yeah, I'm working today. What are you doing? What what is that? It's an oops. By who? Uh who let him remain anonymous. Oh, that's a love sack slide. Yeah. Love sack slide gets um flooring. Regular flooring, not tile. That's tile. Wyatt's putting the flooring down in the editing slide. He's actually, there's a lot happening. He has done so much while we were gone in just a few days. There's a speaker mounted, there's solar mounted, there's grout on the floor. Slides are gonna go in today. It's gonna be a great day for filming. We're here on a good day. Yeah, there's a lot of activity happening today, so. We're trying to stay out of the way. Yes, but yet, documents you can see the process it's a difficult dilemma so we're just gonna stand like little flies on the wall over on the sides and get out of the way it finally it's starting to feel like something is really like it's really happening getting there all the pieces and all the things that we've talked about for so long to start to see them coming together yeah the slide coming in this really puts perspective they said it would it would make a big perspective now when you're doing something like this and you're adding some interesting components to your rv say an led wall or i don't know a, a sound system it requires some specific things for power and through the course of this, we have reached out to Enduro Power Lithium Batteries. That's Harrison, if you, if you don't know who he is. My name is Harrison Smitty, the owner of Enduro Power Batteries. And shared with him this journey and what we were doing, and then shared with him all the different elements. And he was like, oh, this is going to be fun. I've got some ideas. But he goes, we're going to need a little help. So he reached out to Kaza, and that is RV Solar Solutions. And together, they came up with some ideas to help. Now, we, we gave them the parameters, kind of like when we set up our other batteries in yes. our old rig, that we didn't need the grand poopa of all systems. We had these specific needs, and that's how uh, they kind of structured everything. We have made it to Colorado. It is time. We're at this nondescript place. It's like we're under this secret cover of cloudiness today. We have come all the way to the Castle Rock area to check out Enduro Batteries and talk to Harrison. So he can kind of show us around and talk about what we might be using and how it's going to integrate into the whole thing. Yeah, what's going to work, I, you know, and I don't necessarily want, know what's going to work. I just want it to work. So I just want it to yeah. work. I mean, if you're thinking off-grid living yes. and you think of all the things that you can have applications for, this is, this is one of the things that you really want to dive into, and that's lithium batteries. So, I don't know what's behind this door. I kind of like it that there's no labels here or nothing, because it's like where we are, it's like a secret undercover well, operation. Let's go in and find out how we can fuel what we're getting ready to do. going to kind of push the boundaries a little bit for you. You? Push yeah. the boundaries? Yeah, we, <laughs> we are. We're going to do something that nobody has really done. So in this, this new RV, we happen to have an LED wall going on it. Wow. The, yeah. in, in it? On it? On it. On it. On it. It's going to be on the front. Because you know how we're about community and we want to um, have events. We do, we're very event driven, very community driven. Sure. Well, what better way to bring people together so they can see if you have an LED wall? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so we're going to do that. Okay. Number two, <laughs> we are putting a stage on top of it. Stage? A stage. I didn't know you were artists. We're not. Guitars? We're not. <laughs> we're not. But I want to be able to bring musicians in and they just plug in and then they can have amplified sound to do That's bands, it. that sort of okay. thing. On so top. think of this. Dream with me for a minute. Dream of like staying out in like the desert, like in quartzite. And then under the stars, you have an LED wall and you have musicians on stage and you have a sound system. 
and we're off grid. Well, I like it. I mean, the way you guys bring community together to bring this kind of centralized vision into this one stage and you know, yeah. I was, I, I personally, I'm a fifth well owner myself and just this weekend had four, uh, four families together and we had a little dance uh, stage for the kids oh, playing music. So, I mean, everything you're saying is right up my alley. I love yeah. it. And I know Harrison does not do installs on solar and he doesn't have all the other components that would go to doing, you know, the inverters and stuff like that. Yeah. But you do work with somebody. Yeah. Great, uh, great resource that uh, we're going to work with uh, RV Solar Connections here out of Denver, Colorado. And we could pick his brain too on what kind of like solar comparing yeah. components and stuff like that. Okay. okay. Yeah, it was really cool to be able to meet them and just kind of hear how they put together what they thought would be best for our needs. Yep. And so would they just shipped everything here to spacecraft and then as they started putting things together we got to have harrison and kaza show up to hand out the last minute details because kaza believe it or not is one of the top people in the united states that deal with victron stuff and on top of that we are one of the very first people dealing with the new garmin system and he is actually one of the people that deal with that so between harrison his amazing battery system that he put in and then Kaza and all his expertise, that was a fun day to have them here and have them help out and figure some stuff out. Yeah, what what would have taken multiple hours to just figure out, Kaza just was able to come in and point click and get it yeah. all done super fast. We're just very thankful to have them a part of the journey. Yeah, they are a great team. So we can't say enough great things about them, but Enduro Lithium Power Batteries, Enduro Power out of um, Colorado and Causes in Colorado too, so you should check them out. But just the, the, let's just let you see what what they've put together. All right, we tracked down Casa. He was down on the belly trying to get everything done. Getting things programmed for us. Thank so, you, by got the way. done. Got it done. RV Solar Connections. Now we heard from Harrison how he gave you the call about this crazy project we were doing, but we didn't get the backstory. Like, did you think this was a crazy idea when he told you? You know, I, I, I wasn't really sure entirely what to expect, <laughs> but uh, now that I'm here, this is this is pretty it's, epic. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. It's it's got a lot of things. Now the thing is, is that Casa's specialty is all the stuff. You're Victron certified, but you do other things too. Sure. Certifications with different systems, right? right. Yeah. So we, um, you know, we're a technical distributor with a focus on renewable energy for RVs right. and travel trailers, camper vans, tiny homes. We will uh, support and coach DIYers. Uh, wow. um, and we also train professionals um, to design and install systems like the one that we have here today. Wow. So if you're looking to do like your smallest projects from your van life all the way up to something huge, you cause us to do. Yeah, yeah. We usually start figuring out like what it is you want to do right. with your system, what things you want to run, and from there we can design it to make sure that it accommodates it. And you can actually purchase things on your website and have it shipped because your focus on is DIY projects, right. right? Yeah, exactly. And will you walk them through steps if they call? Or do you have like packages that you set up? Yeah, packages. It's, we do schematics. Oh. So wiring diagrams so you can see how everything connects. Right. Um, and then coaching throughout, right? So as questions come up, you've got you've got a resource that you can call and you know we'll walk you through it. How did you come up with the idea of how many batteries to have and then floating through all that? You know, the size of rig, it kind of falls into a large fifth wheel, a class A. I would say a little bit more in the fifth wheel if somebody wants to go full off grid. Right. Um, and those systems are very similar to what you have here. Obviously you have a couple of the bells and whistles like sound systems, yeah. LED boards. Uh, Silly, isn't it? Different gadgets on board that you aren't going to find in other rigs. But uh, the thought process is like, hey, we need to put 30 kilowatt hours of power yeah. in here. And when he um, said that, I was like, I don't even know what that translates yeah. to. And then all the batteries started showing up. Yeah. Well, just yeah. 30 kilowatt hours for you guys. That's uh, eight of our 12 volt, 300 amp hour batteries. So some people might think about amp hours. That's 12 volt, 2400 amp hours. But that equates to 30 point. Uh, seven kilowatt hours of energy. So really what that's gonna allow you to do compared uh, compared with the almost 2,700 watts of solar we'll put right. on the roof with your mini splits that you've chosen for your air conditioner in here, which are lower consumption rating than most RV air conditioners, you're gonna be able to run those more efficiently and with that 30 kilowatts of uh, power, you're it's a big to run difference air conditioners off grid with the solar. The question I have, 
Is this, will I ever have to do anything? <laughs> like, will I have to call Wyatt or Kaza or Harrison and say, hey, I have some issues? All you need to do is there's a nice touch screen. It's not just on hit right the now. touch you screen? Just hit the touch screen and then okay. that'll tell you. This is what it's going to show you what you're consuming from shore power, okay. uh, your battery, your solar, and what you're consuming on the rig. It can all be seen on that one screen. And so the, and the great thing is Wyatt or myself can remote in. Oh! If you've got any... So like if you're in India or somewhere, I would just say... <laughs> support. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. Yeah. Anywhere in the world. As long as you have Wi-Fi. Oh, great. Who are we fooling? Wyatt doesn't ever leave this place. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it right You here. just told me to... You know when there are, there are moments that you have these grandiose ideas and I had shared this LED wall with Sheila and she appeased me saying, that would be a good idea. It's a great idea. Well, all these ideas are great until you have to try to get them to work. <laughs> it's not as simple as like plugging the TV in and ta-da. Ta-da, there was no ta-da. No ta-da. Happy New Year. <laughs> it's the second and we've decided to come out we have, they're closing in like six minutes, so we're just popping in. <laughs> I think that's an LED wall. It's an LED wall. They put the frame up for the LED wall. Oh. More slides in too. Oh yeah. The question is, is how's it work? Who's gonna program it? Yeah, I gotta figure out how to program it. I have no idea how that happened. Just look at it. Just look at it. It's a big one. Is that a lock? I don't know. That's a buffer, so it doesn't bounce. Wow. Look at that. Come on, Sheila. <laughs> I mean, this seems normal. I think it's it's so fabulous, it's not even fun. It's gonna go all the way until it hits. Yeah, but we only need to have it. Oh, you mean we could actually put it like 90 if we wanted to? I think it goes 90. These poor guys are headed home. The, uh, the oh. actuator. Let it I don't want an actuator. Oh. I just wanted it just like that, and then we could lock it. No, I don't know how far these stick out past the side, but yeah, you could go. Yeah, see, I'm gonna be able to sit on that deck down there and watch. We could sit. We could sit. Yeah, we could sit down there. We could like, sit we in Brunswick, could, Missouri, and watch the game. <laughs> we could sit over on this, or we could sit on top and just look down. Gosh, it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's so silly. We were sitting around and came up with that idea and I was like, there's no way. And there's a way. There's a way, spacecraft made a way. It really is pretty cool. You gotta admit, this is pretty cool. You did good. You did good. That's a lot of welding. It's a lot of welding. It's a lot of weight. Yeah. But, I guess I did know. It's... So what you're saying, we can add something. We could add a hammock underneath this. We could do like two bolts coming through and add like a hammock underneath the LED wall. I would be okay with that. <laughs> it's all fun and games until you realize there's only eight days left until the rig must leave for Tampa. There's still so much work to do. It's going right down to the wire. When you're the first to do something, it comes with obstacles, Wyatt. It comes with obstacles. Good times. <laughs> That's his inside voice. <laughs> That's the one I didn't have to duck quack from the cuss word. <laughs> January 3rd. This rig is supposed to leave exactly one week from tomorrow morning. So this is it. In a week. We got There's a week. Nothing in it. They're finishing LED wall stuff. And it's the final countdown. It's the final! 
Yeah, that's it. Spinal <laughs> countdown. We're we're a little stressed. Got a week. Yeah, but we're very. St it's starting to get really excited in the stressness. Before it was just always stress. Now there's actually some excitement <laughs> to it. So I'll be very excited to see when this LED wall we put all the panels on it and get to see it actually working. Yeah, we got to figure that out. There's a lot to figure out. We got a short window a and short. a large learning curve. How's this going? There's a lot of clips. <laughs> so little, we have tool. a, there's a rolling bet that these panels might pop off down the road. And so there's actually security cables, supposedly. Yeah, so I mean, but they'll just be flopped. Well. As long as these little bars don't break. <laughs> I don't know. Very frustrated. We've tried everything for the LED wall, but it just stays individualized. So, we're not quite sure what to do next. In the middle of trying to get the LED working now. So, LED, audio, those are the deck on top. That's kind of today's. Uh, trying to get those pieces figured out. And then next week, I guess it'll be finishing touches for three days. We're gonna make it by Thursday? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> To the amplifier to the speakers okay. there's so like you wouldn't think that one little bitty stinking go this is like everything in this process one tiny component messes up everything that's how this whole process has been one microcosm of a from the led wall literally it's like this big run like for the whole thing if that's not in the right place to the sound system to how our slides come in well did you hear the here hold this it's heavy did you hear the dilemma about our slide yeah is it broke we're not sure it's going to fit i think we're what are you talking about why it was doing math we're doing math in there it's like we got 96 we got this we got this it's like and there's a four inch toe kick he's like we're an inch too old we're an inch over so i don't know we, that slide might not work we got it we're an inch too long even after they moved that slide and he cut that down after he moved the island moved the island in so it's tighter in that corner than i was hoping it would be but because that extend that there's just so many little pieces an inch on this side an inch on that side. now we don't know if that slides eight days seven days whatever i guess it'll roll down the road with just an opening
but it's not only at the after the show but for the show right, right? I yeah. mean that's an important feature that we really want to have functioning and we researched it a very long time and let's be honest I mean we spent a ton of money on the thing yeah so, and then you mix in the sound system I'm way in over way over my head on learning that and then learning the whole solar setup there's so much well yeah not even like we haven't even had a chance to digest how any of these things work as it is our going to be our home we're just trying to get all the pieces together yeah and we'll have to deal with the figuring that part out later like this is just at the this is the last push just to get the pieces in that are essential yeah and then you throw in the, all the stuff at the show the expectations of everybody and and the show is itself, and it's in and of itself an exhausting week for us. Not to even, not even having an RV there. So there's I'm, a lot coming. I don't get me wrong. I am super excited. Yeah. Like it's amazing. And we are so thankful and so blessed. And but when you look at, we also have to put the furniture in, and the desk hasn't gone in. The slide hasn't come in or gone. The last slide they haven't put in yet because there might be some issues. It, it's just like every little bitty thing, and then we have only this amount of time, and then we're homeless. Like we are legit homeless. We we get out of the place we've been staying and for a month. We won't have a place at all. Yeah, we'll be bouncing from different locations. It'll be weird. Like we're gonna live out of a suitcase. Speaking of that, we need to swing by and pick up another suitcase. So, just wanted to bring you into the yeah the the weight that we're feeling on it, um, and we know. Come on, this is a third world problem. Yep. I mean, it's it's pretty small. <laughs> it's pretty small in the whole scheme of things. So we're not whining, complaining. We're just simply sharing our feelings, and they're they're valid. Of oh my gosh only got a week left yeah after a whole year the combination of it all yeah it's a lot so. all right let's go find some parts to see if we can make this led wall work yeah uh, -huh. <laughs> uh yeah i have to admit i did get a little frustrated and i had a a few moments there yeah the LED wall it wasn't as easy to try to configure and to set up you got to map the wall and it wasn't communicating properly that was a rough day because that's one of the key pieces that we're really wanting to have uh, for our community for just our events and stuff and dang the thought that this might not work after all was yeah. a real thought yeah there was two days where I would, and then by the end of that second time and I left that day I felt just defeated yeah when you can't figure something out it is well it's or, tough. or we we came up with this idea and made the frames and got it to stay on and do all the things and then it's not sinking and you almost think well did we mess something up or yeah it was, is it hung different like oh yeah there's all kinds of things run through your mind yeah it was not a it was not a wonderful moment for me and then you mix in the sound system not working. That that sent me over the edge when we left that day. These last several weeks, <laughs> we've went over the edge a couple times. But we just reel each other back up and we're like, it's going to be okay. Tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow's a new day. Oh. Are you really getting ready to do that? Six. <laughs> <laughs> All right, even though we were extremely disappointed and frustrated about the LED wall and the sound system and you had had your little, had a little meltdown yeah. and I thought, okay, it is time for me to like, you know how you just have people that you make connections with, you have them in your back pocket. You did a phone a friend. I did a phone a friend. I, I did a phone a friend. It, it was just great to, in the church world, we have a little bit of everything. We have sound, we have LED wall, we have like, it's just, we have all those components. And yeah. so I called some friends uh, from the, the old church that I used to work at, and they were very gracious to come and help us out. And that was a game changer. 
So today, in order to get the audio speakers hooked up, I had to call in some reinforcements, call some friends, phone a friend, phone a friend. Here they are. You guys are my phone a friend for help. Thank you. It's like the cavalry has arrived. No How are you guys? How are you? We're just wanting to survive right now. I That's the goal. That is to just, just like just to get it done so that at the Tampa show we can actually have music. <laughs> yes. All right. How amazing is that today? I, I was so frustrated. I almost broke down yesterday. <laughs> so bad. So it's nice to know. Oh, it was like a glorious time. It was such a, it was a victory. It was. Just to start to see those two pieces that were very important to us come to life was like, okay, well, this might actually work <laughs> after all. It was like in the movie Castaway when he goes, I made fire. <laughs> so when the LED wall came on, I was like, yes, it's it's happening. Yeah. <laughs> and I will say the sound system's fabulous. Oh my goodness. Kurt just has these great ears to be able to it's equalize all, everything. Mm -hmm. And he just did a phenomenal job with that. So it sounds great with the sub. It doesn't rattle the rig as much as I thought it was going to. It was only to. set on four. It can go to 10. Okay, is, well, 10 might rattle some I'm gonna some tell things. you guys, when we do an event and we get to utilize this thing, we are going to have so much fun together. It is, I am so excited just on that. It's, the LED wall is pretty dang yeah, cool too. Yeah, and then like, I got to play like, we're jamming the music. Yeah. It was great. All right, so here we are. <laughs> It is crunch time. Like we are down to the wire. Look at that wall. Is that a beautiful wall? That's not, it's not supposed to look like that. Just, just so you know. If you could see it, that's our TV and a fireplace. And then this is really cool. This whole thing moves out and behind it are shelves. And then we'll have like. That'll be where our chairs will go for the deck can, up top. Can you imagine it? <laughs> it's right there. I hope when you see it in Tampa that it's done. <laughs> We hope it's done too. Guess so, we'll all, we're all gonna we're, all find out together. We're shooting this literally, we leave tomorrow, basically, and yeah. Yeah. It'll be a surprise to us all. But I guess it's the way it's supposed to be the whole time. We're just looking forward to seeing you guys at the show and then we'll finish all the last minute, the last 20% later. <laughs> There are so many little pieces still to happen. Trim to be, trim to be done. The door cabinet faces. The bed needs to be installed. There's touch-up trim and paint that needs to happen. Like yeah. nail holes to be filled. Like there's still not like that. We and that a table. <laughs> oh, we still have to install furniture. Like, and we are down to like we have like a day. Yeah. A day to get or two, day or two, you know, to get on, all that stuff done. Honestly though, I am, even though we'll probably be 80% by the time we make it to the show, I'm looking forward to being able to share it with everyone finally. Like we've kept this under wraps all year and with the whole intention of sharing it with everybody and we're gonna do yeah. something awesome together. I, I'm looking forward to that. Well, and we kept it under wraps because of just that whole coming together and that excitement of being able to experience it for the first time all together. Yeah. I think there's just something that's a celebration. Oh, it's going to be so, so we good. can celebrate together. Um, and we just want to be able to be together and in that moment with our with our crew. But 
it was just cool to even see things like the Moride slide trays going oh, in. Oh yes, how much that's gonna be, it's gonna be great. All the, yeah, all the these, event gear, all the event gear in put in there. In fact, we have so much event gear that we have to load before this thing can roll out for the, the tent and merchandise and all things. We're actually going to really get to see how those slide trays are going to help us so much. We leave on Wednesday or Thursday next week? Wednesday's our last day here. Yes, we fly out on Thursday. And the rig leaves on Thursday. So we have basically three full working days left. And I just asked why, how close? And he just like, there's a lot more to do than you think there is. That's all I said, basically. There's a lot of trim work. Yeah, trim work and cabinets and doors. There's a lot there. So, but I feel like we're so much closer. Yeah, we still have to, we still have to put all the TVs in and... Yeah, all that stuff. Put that down, get to work. <laughs>
we're ready to head to the airport. <laughs> and this, we're both gonna, we're all gonna be surprised what it looks like when we get there. There's even a pool here at Spacecraft. How many, talking about that LED wall, yeah. talking about how many of the panels are gonna make it all the way there. I know. I don't like that pool. It is a bad pool, but I was, <laughs> I literally was pushing on them saying, are they right? Because we honestly, we don't know. We absolutely have no clue. And they have to go through rain and snow. We are getting a snowstorm of the current century yeah, as right we're now. filming this right now. And like, oh, this wall has got to go through all of those elements. I know it's built for outdoor use, but I'm a little nervous.